two weeks. How has it been two weeks since I last played this game? How the music is horrifyingly a perfect way to start the stream. <laughs> Especially since I've seen Space Jam 2 like yesterday. Anyways, hello everyone! Welcome to the stream! Murder by numbers, woo! I love streams. How are you? I hope you're all doing good tonight. Earl, how are you all doing tonight? Hello, Penny. Hello, Quinn. Hello, kitty cat lesbian who is not here right now but just stopped by to say hi. I'll, I'm also waving a hello to you. really crazy that it's been like two weeks oh murder by numbers i have been eagerly waiting to finish your game you're eagerly waiting to get back to this but now i'm here i'm finally here very much like how i've been waiting one whole year one whole year for a new pat mac video and the new Pet Mac video is really good! That's why the icebreaker was about, um, uh, Lost Media. Because that's what the video was about, Lost Media. Lurky. Okay. Uh... Oh, you bought five books today? Oh yeah, I heard you bought five books today! Uh, what books were they? I am listening right now, but uh, last time, uh, uh, I think an actual homophobic hate crime might have happened. No, it has happened. It literally happened right in front of the pride bar, or like right in front of pride bar, the gay bar. And this game, specifically this case, takes place during Pride Month. Um, and there's drag queens, but. No trans woman, unfortunately. Diversity when this part. <laughs> Just like the fucking <laughs> lesbian mall in Fiona's Supernatural fanfiction. Or no, wait, I think it was like the lesbian car named Baby? I forgot. A very deep cut reference if you ever been to that stream back in November. Anyways. Uh, let's investigate. See if we can. No, wait. Actually, before we before we investigate, uh, Detective Cross, I want to ask you, what do you think about gay rights? Oh God, I forgot their voices. Oh no. Oh no. I should have seen an episode. I should have seen one of the, my last streams to to do their voices. Oh God, it's been it's been weeks. Oh no. Uh, that one of those pride flags. I've got nothing against that stuff. I don't understand why they need to parade about it. You surprised me, Detective. You must be confronted with a lot of the dark side of community as part of your job, right? More than I'd like. Well then, don't you think people coming together to celebrate love is something worth doing? You make a pretty good point. Good for you, Detective Cross. Good for you. Anyways. Now we can investigate. Well, let's see what we can't find. Oop. Hey, that's good. He's he's not homophobic. And here's the thing, this is the 90s, so it's a very good thing to not be homophobic. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Also, have you ever started playing a game lately and you can't stop thinking about it? I think I might have a new hyperfixation, guys. <laughs> Weird way to start that out, but um I do be thinking about that um slime rancher. Good game. Good game that slime ran that slime rancher is. I wish my laptop was good enough to play it on stream, but, you know. My favorite creature. The Slimin. Slimin. Four. 
Love this animal. The lime. The lime and the da 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 You took the lime and the coconut and drank it all out. You took the lime and the coconut and it all out. You took the lime and the coconut and drank it all out. I think that's how the song went. I think? But I don't think. So I don't know. God, the end of that game makes me feel, as they say, the effects. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait for that. That'll be fun. Hmm. Took the lime and the coconut and drank it all. Took the lime and the coconut and drank it all. Hey, I got that right. I actually got that right. Three, four, five. This is also a good game that I wish I played more. The thing is, I'm currently at a point where I can only play this like this stuff for streams. I haven't advanced the ranks to last streams, and I've been oh so patient about playing this game again. And I'm very glad I am. I still got the skills that pays the oops that pays the bills. One, three, three, four, five. Wait, did I do that right? Or no, wait. There. Now I got it right. I'm almost done with this. Fog! Frog Champ. Four. One, one. Oops. I found broken bottle. You could put a slime in there. Oh man, I also forgot about Scout's voice. I know his voice basically turned into JFK from Clone High, but <laughs> sorry, there's something in my throat. I think it was the spaghetti. Uh, fuck. I have a huge penis! Okay, there it is. No, wait. I'm close, I'm close. Hello, my name's JFK, and I got a huge penis, and it, and it's, uh, it's, <laughs> I'm trying to get JFK's voice! It's so hard when you haven't played this game for almost two weeks! No! Why is it gay to suck another man's dick? I- I would- I would say it's not gay to suck another man- another homie's penis! It's so tasty! Okay, there it is. These fragments of glass do not appear to be from the window. Their covered their covered suggests they were originally from a rounded object. Maybe a bottle? Hmm, it's kind of sticky. Are there any place pieces with the label on? Yes, here at Sambuca. Ah, so that's where that in innocent sh smells coming from. Ruby spreading kiss the homies propaganda. I'm here for it. I mean. Mm, mm, give sloppy to a homie. That was the worst thing I already said today. Great stream so far. Yes, same there. <laughs> hey, I think we found something. <laughs> What's that? This glass was mixed in amongst 
uh, amongst, uh, like, um, among us, the other, the other glass from the window. I love to play Among Us. I, th I think that I think Detective Cross the sussy baka. If he's not the sussy baka, we'll find the sussy baka for sure. Honor, the fuck he's talking about? The fuck's a sussy baka? I, uh Oh, I'm too old for this. You think it was a bottle of Sambuca? Huh. Can't say I've ever had it myself. Me, me neither. Well. Good dialogue. Uh, to the bar then. Oh, now I gotta remember Casey's voice. Uh. You know... <laughs> I think instead of watching Pat Max do his video or watching um, <laughs> Yester World, I should have been watching my Burner by Numbers VODs. Man, this is gonna be horrible. I'm so sorry, everyone. Okay. Okay, what was Casey's voice? Uh. Oi, loves! Uh, close ish? Oi, loves! Oi, loves! What about Grandmama Krista? How's she doing? Oh, you know her. Always falling into some kind of ridiculous antidote. I swear, they were all lies if I hadn't been there for some of them. I'm supposed to be going to New York to see her tomorrow, but what with all this? You are not canceling that trip! If you go, I'll go sort this out! Are you sure? I'll get as much sorted, sorted today as I can. Oh, you are a dear. I know, but she's family. Who knows how long you got left with her? Best to, best to enjoy these moments while you can. Don't let her hear you, hear you say that. You know she's been keeping up breaking her bag ever since Stonewall. I wasn't talking about her. You shady ass no good. Ah, the wonder, the wonder returns. The wanderer, the, the like from. Uh, I forgot where I forgot who the wanderer was from. Hollow Knight, fucking. The uh, sorry, just just need to get away for a bit. I'm not surprised you need to reload. Babe, you gave them both barrels. Oh, I was so proud. You were listening? Um, yeah, of course I was listening. And, until he thought you were coming back in here, at which point he jumped away from the door like a startled cat. It was just your crazy ex, though. I, I'd have really put him in his place, but I didn't want Fran to have to deal with two dead wives today. Such a thoughtful boy. Anyway, dear, he left something for you. It's over there. Ah! It- More- More investigation! More Picross, baby! More Picross, baby! Sloppy Baka? Well... You know what? I'll be right back. I just gotta put something in the quotes channel of- At the snap cord? Uh, d uh, j just real quickly. Oh, you know. Oh, wait, I got it. I got it. Good. It. Right. Slap. Okay. And wait. And there. Oh. Important part of history preserved. Okay, back at it. <laughs> Wait, is this right? Oh, yeah, that is right. Look at that.
Mmm, you know what game I do want to play for stream, though? Um, Mad Rat Dead. That looks like a good game, and I've seen the home yester hyperfixating on it, so it must be good. That rat do be mad though. Me when I see a mad rat. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, three. Alright, let's use hints. Four, and then one, two. Yes. I am so good at Picross, you wouldn't even believe it. I'm the best Picross player, actually. Number one in Picross International. If that is a thing. Four, five. Uh... Ah, bah, bah, bah. Oh, my, my kitty cat girl voice! Uh, kinda close? Kinda? Not where I'd want- not where I'd want it to be right now, but... I I'm sh I'm sure she'll be back later this stream. She will be. I like making those noises. And bitches do be making noises, though. Uh, one, three, two, yes. One, one. Oh, there do be a lot of ones here, though. One, two. Still thinking about homophobic, um, rat god and timekeeper cookie. Two homophobic. You know, you know, just two homophobic girl bosses looking at each other. Uh, Non-homosexually, though, they're, they're both homophobic, <laughs> as previously stated. I mean, are the are they homophobic or do they just have gay enemies? I mean, look, hear hear me out here, Penny. Why else would they be looking at each other like like that before going? Oh, sorry, sorry, nothing. To look here. <laughs> Why else? <laughs> and they specifically mentioned the fact that they were gay. If they were gay, they wouldn't have really cared about it. it. It would just be, you know, gay on gay violence. But no, they specifically state that they were gay. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> Shyness isn't real, only internalized homophobia. Well, still homophobia, just internalized homophobia. <laughs> Either way, why would they have to specifically say that they were like, gay children that we were beaten by, or gay people that they were beaten by. <laughs> you know... Ruby asking the real questions here. The real facts and logic. <laughs> Oh, wait. Ah, okay. Five... Three... I mean, hey, you know what? Uh, they can be gay and homophobic. I I've known people that were gay and homophobic. Sure. Love wins. Ha happy not Pride Month.
Now what could this be? Coat! Oh, that encoding do be overloaded though. They're just girl bosses. They're homophobic gay girl bosses that love to kiss each other on the mouths, but in the most homophobic way possible. Anna, I think this code might be worth looking at. Huh? It's a pretty old- Gross! It's really sticky! Perhaps you should smell it to see if it can be identified. Is this really what my life has come to? Sniffing sticky things on crime scenes? <sighs> Oh, wow. Yeah, that's aniseed. It must be Sambuca from that bottle we found outside. Hey, look at that. We got more things to look at. Well, before you we go back into scanning mode, let's save. Let's do a sexy little save. Uh, with the most recent... Right, the 14th. This one. Close, investigate... Hmm. Where can we even start with? Um. Maybe I can start here? Hey, okay, that's a good start. Three, four, five, six. Give these the good music to do a pick cross to. This game's music do be good, it's true, it do be good. Three? Yes. Two, three, four, five, six. No, just five. Two. Uh, this looks like a two, but I don't know which direction. I think this direction. Yes. And here would be one. Um, here? No. Yep. Got that right. Two. Hmm. 
You know what I think would be a fun, like, stream idea to do? One where I just, like, play, play, like, games that were never released. I think that'd be neat. Because there do be a lot of games that didn't get released, though. And I did it! It is a... phone? Oh. Laptop! A... Probably the world's skinniest laptop. Sure. Oh, it's a portable computer! There is a note attached for the new job. I spoke to your mom. She's on board. Give it, give it some thought. Ryan, he's going to solve things as usual. No thanks, chuck it in the trash. Oh, I see, on oh, what electronics are to be disposed of. Like me. Scout, I- that's not what I meant. Let's keep it. Hey, maybe you could use some of the parts yourself or something. An upgrade would be nice. Perhaps I could upgrade my CPU. Ooh, or maybe re replace my screen with the color TFT panel. Oh, oh, Whew, that was a close one. Poor guy. Ah. Scout with the problems and issues. Uh, here. Yes. I guess we can question you? What can I get you, dear? Oh, right. I went to the bartender mode for a second there. When we were talking about- When we were talking earlier, you mentioned something about Roz. The one mentioned in Oliver's diary? Oh, yes, right. Well, I was hoping not to bring her into this, but this lady is pretty. I think if I saw her for real, I'd swoon. Oh yes, yeah, same here. Rasmus is one of our regular performers here. She runs a couple of night. She runs a couple of nights a week. She and Oliver, they knew each other. How did Roz and Oliver know each other? But like I said, Roz runs quite a few nights here, and Oliver was a regular. One of the last entries in Oliver's diary read. She doesn't understand me, despite everything she hid from me. I'm the one that's ended up in the cold. Well, they always seem to get on fine. I'd often see Oliver talking to her at the end of the night. Then a few nights ago, they had a huge argument. Things turned nasty and Ross threw Oliver out. He me ban him from the premises. Every night since every night since then, Oliver's been outside. Completely bladdered, as Casey might say. What does blad- It means he was drunk. Very drunk. He begged to be let in. What's the use of barring someone if you reverse it immediately? So he just stayed out there, shouting and screaming at everyone. Wasn't great for business, but like I said, he was a troubled soul. Had he been sleeping out there too? I... I don't think so. He's certainly never been around in the daytime. But he asked. His belongings were, his belongings were in bags outside his apartment, so it looks like he'd, he'd been evicted from his residence. Might also explain why he was in front of the club this morning. Was he outside when you left the club last night? Not that I saw, but I locked everything from inside and leave from the back door, so I wouldn't have seen him if he was here. Uh, what happened to Roz? What do you think happened to Roz? On her way here. That detective of yours asked me to bring her. But turns out she was on her way here anyway. How interesting. Any ETA? Roz comes when she comes. She's kind of a free spirit. Okay, um... Present evidence. Uh, murdered by letters. Ah, uh, if only this was murdered by letters. No, you only get murdered by numbers in this game. You gotta be good at math. You found some smashed glass outside. If it's smashed glass you're looking for, I've got a load on the inside too. Just behind you. No, it's curvature. Su it's curvature suggests. Part of a bottle! People think you might be Sambuca. Sambuca? We don't get many people drinking that here. 
Although, come to think of it, it was Ollie's drink of choice. So it could have belonged to him? Not math! Yes, the one thing, the one stereotypical thing gay people can't do, math! And yet, I'm good at this game. So... Hmm, a lot to think about. Anyways, he's been he's been out there most nights this week, and he seemed pretty drunk, so it's definitely possible. Actually, now nah, I'm gay. I like kissing homies on the mouth. We usually clean the outside area just before we open up, and there wasn't any glass yesterday, so it must have been from last night. Interesting. Fran, is this coat yours? Hmm? No, I think that's... Oh, what do you think you're doing with my coat, huh? Hey, look at that, a new person came in. Uh, haha! <laughs> cool your jets, I was only pulling your leg! Well, I'll be! Sure did a number in the front, didn't they? You all okay, friend? I'm fine, if a little shaken. When I find out who did this, I'll make them wish they never left their mama's pouch! Oh, Honor, this is Roz Moses, the queen we were talking about. I knew it! I knew my ears are burning! Well, pleasure to meet you. Say, you look awfully familiar. Well, I... I got it! I saw you in love life, right? I haven't missed an issue for ten years! Probably... I don't pay much attention to that stuff. Didn't you say that's love life was garbage for people that don't have lives themselves? I scout! What did that little rust bucket say to me? Uh, anyway, can I have a quick word? Well... Well now, what can I do for you? You work here, right? A couple nights a week, yeah. Some nights I perform, some nights I host. But either way, it's full on Rosmosis. Ha, huh. full on is apt. You mean look? Yeah, that's the point. One of our regulars once described my look as like a punch in the face personified. He was one of the few I hadn't actually punched. Anna, she scales me. How do you know the victim? What? Who's the victim? His name was Oliver M Laurel. What? No! I hear you had a disagreement with him a few days ago. It sure was a miss, yeah. To be honest, I don't really know how it happened, but what was it about? Ollie was... He was, a, he was working a lot of stuff out, you know? A lot of people here are, in the beginning at least, he came from a very strict background. Christian, Catholic, something that began with C? I had a lot of repressed shame, so probably Catholic. Haha, <laughs> am I right? I I've never been raised Catholic. Instead, I was raised Lutheran, but that's a topic for another day. His parents kicked him out, and then, well, he came here. I think he was looking for his tribe. How did you end up in an argument? Well, he told me he liked drag queens. thought he was gay, but there was something about drag queens that tick tickled his pickle, I guess. Happens more than you'd think. <laughs> then a few days back, he told me that he liked me. Liked like me. I was flattered, of course, but... Well, I had to tell him that I'm not a dude, and that's when things went south. Wait, you're not... You're a woman? Anyway, that made poor Ollie even more confused. I took it the wrong way and thought he was turning me down. He made me see red, and I... Hit him. Fran thought he hit me, so she barred him. You are a very strict policy about any kind of violence or threatening behavior here. Well, from the customers, at least. I was gonna get him unbarred when it had all calmed down, but I didn't get a chance. I hope you don't mind, but I'd just like to make sure I have this totally straight. You're a drag queen, but you're a woman? Sure I am. I'm what some call a bio queen, which just means I, co I came out my mama's hidey hole with all the female equipment. Wow, I just assumed all drag queens are men. How did you end up doing this? I came to LA expecting to find my fortune in, Ho in Hollywood. Of course, I was wet behind the years then. Thought there'd actually be parts for someone that looks like me, didn't I? Huh, Heidi Hole. Oh, you know. Actually, actually, there is. Uh, you know, a Heidi Hole. You know, something like, um. The Coochie Castle. <laughs> the glory the glory hole gallery. <laughs> the vagina village. Okay, that's it. That's it. O only three of them. 
th that's it. Just the three. There, there will be more. There will be more later if they ever decide to say any more. <laughs> oh god, that phrase sounds so wrong, my dirty mind. No, 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 you're right to think that. <laughs> I, I literally just said three vagina euphemisms. I think they're euphemisms. Anyways, when the truth st sunk in, I figured I'd get into comedy. That morphed into performance, which became what you see now. I never really left much at home with female gender stereotypes, so Roz is my way of taking them to the extreme. Kinda giving you everything at once, you know? Oh no, Windows key, no! Do you get much work? Most of the gay, gay clubs won't hire me, because I'm not a guy. Seems hyperfemininity is just for the boys. Who would have thought it, huh? Fred's been good to me, though. She knew I could entertain a crown, and that all and that was all she cared about. Who my throat? I'm gonna drink more water, actually. But hey, you know what? It, it wasn't the first time I talked about penis in this in this series specifically. Oh boy. Oh boy, the one where I just made like ten dick jokes in like possibly a minute or two. Anyways, you had to tell me about your whereabouts last night. Peanut? Peanut? Yeah, peanut. Sure, I was working here until about 11.30, then I went straight home. Did, did you see Oliver on your way out? Uh-huh. No, can't say I did. Only a friend mentioned that he was outside the club most nights recently. And, obviously, he was there when he... Oh, yeah, I saw him out there a couple of times this week. But he wasn't always there, you know? He'd come and go. But, yeah, he wasn't there when I left last night. Uh, do you... Uh, you know this. We found this broken glass outside. Ah, probably from a beer bottle or something, right? People are always dropping stuff out there, huh? <laughs> smells like Sambuca to me. What are you, some kind of dog? Uh-oh. I'm not sure what this is all about. I didn't even see Oliver last night. You might want to reconsider that statement. Why is that, darling? Because I think you did see him. Oh yeah? Well, what makes you think that? Oh, you know. The coat in the broken bottle. We found this bottle smashed outside near the crash site. It's pretty clear that it's a bottle of Sambuca. Uh, and? Well, we know that it was Ollie's favorite drink. We also know that this coat is yours, and that's covered in Sambuca. Well, what are you trying to insinuate, huh? Well, why did you come out and say it? Come on, Roz. No good can come from hiding from the truth. Ah, but I... Uh... Okay, fine. So maybe I did see Ollie last night. When I was leaving, he... He was out there. He came at me yelling at about how he lost everything. His home, now his friends too, and that's when he spilled the sambuca on me. And I saw red, and well, I might have swung my bag at him once or twice, or... Well, why didn't you tell us this earlier? Because it makes me look bad, uh, and it's totally unrelated to, the, to that crash. Besides, you ain't even a police officer. No, she's not, but I am. What? I want to talk to you. Get a proper statement, and we'll do it at the station. Even that you've lied to us already, I don't trust you not to tamper with evidence. But, but I... Uh... Good work with that inconsistent, inconsistent honor. I help too. Uh, listen, while I'm handling this, there's something else I want you to take a look at. Please don't tell me this is more busy work. More busy work! I love busy work. I was gonna say busy work. Busy work. I love, I, I love more busy work. Um, uh, where can I start? Let's turn on hints. That's a good start, I think. Six, one, one, two, three, three. Hmm. 
five, six, seven, three, two, one, two. Anyways, how are you all doing tonight? Oh, my throat. How has all your tights been going? Like I, like I asked this earlier, but I'm asking this again for the new people that are here. Thanks, Supremely Gay. I need homies to kiss. I just to really think about Gary! I need effeminate males! <laughs> it's really my favorite image, I think, ever. Is easily the most image. Let's see what's next? One. 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 Feeling supremely gay, I need home. Oh, wait, I, I already read that. Oops. Oops! Whoops! My need for homies is so strong, you read the message twice. Yeah, exactly. Hey, I found an awards photo. Will, I, will my detective rank go up, or now it's finally gone up? D for dicks! A very easy one. Wait, what? How on earth do you have this? You recognize it? This is a photo of the mystery cast and crew at the Star Trek Awards. They're the year we won best new show, but... It looks like Blake's face has been so cold. We found it in Frank Pritchell's Tully's apartment. I'm convinced there is more to his death, so I've been investigating on the side. But that doesn't make any sense. Casey took this photo. He used my camera. When I got developed, I gave it to Mom. That's the only copy. So if Sharon had it, help. Oh wow, my JFK voice is leaving me again. Oh god, I gotta get it back. Mm. Just like my- Oh no! Oh no! JFK! Where are you? JFK! No! He's gone! No! Fuck! I had his voice! JFK's leave me! No, JFK! I'm sorry, Ruby, but you lost how to do my voice! Well, actually, I'm a closeted homosexual. Do you mind if I stay here? Sure thing, JFK! He's, he's finally back, guys. He, he's back, and he's gonna- and I can finally do his voice again. So, if- So, if Sharon had it, 
How did it end up in Frank's apartment? Guess the best place to get that answer is straight from the horse's mouth. Uh, don't, don't tell her I called her that, okay? All new mystery, let's head back to your apartment! We could always just move somewhere else and never go back? How attached are you to that apartment anyways? Fine, fine, let's go see mom. Oh boy, this will be fun and emotionally charged. Hey, let's talk to KC first before we go though. <laughs> see what he has to say. Yes. Close question, you. Wow, so much drama, it's not even midday. Thanks for sticking up for me earlier, Casey. I hope you don't mind that I told you to stand down. I get it, but, you know, one day I hope you'll, I hope you'll really let me off the leash with him. I've been storing up a lot of things I have to say to that slimy knuckle dragger. Trust me, I know the feeling. We'll get our chance someday. Talk to your gay friend before family nonsense. Hey, that's what I do every day. <laughs> I just, I can't believe you had the audacity to rig the Starshine Awards just to get back at you. What a weapons grade wanker. What's your take on all this? You think Ross did it? I mean, the girl's got more issues than variety. I like her, but I wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of her. But do I think she'd drive a giant pride plate floating into someone? No, she's more reactive than that. She just punched them into the fine pit instead. Pete, how refined! It's not refined. You're just American. Ha! American! Oops, I mean, ha! British! I am looking at- I am, I am pointing and laughing at the both of them, but then I'm pointing at myself and laughing. Aha! American! Anyway, she's clearly a person of interest. She knew a lot about Ollie, especially his recent mental state. Could be important. And what are your plans now? You thinking of sticking around? Yeah, I want to see if there's anything I can do to help Fran. So sorting all this out is going to be quite diabolic. Still feeling guilty for being around as much anyway, so... This feels like a good opportunity to make amends. Okay. Uh. Are you gay or are you homophobic? I'm gay! Hmm. Homophobic? Homophobic then? <gasps> Wait! No! You didn't answer the question, Casey. Are you gay? Oh, why you show me that, babe? He is homophobic. Anyways. Uh. Oh, okay. I can't show you any of this then. Oh, look at this. Oh, I took this picture, didn't I? Indeed you did. Feels like a whole lifetime ago, doesn't it? What's got you all sentimental, huh? Detective Cross gave it to me. Said they found it in Frank Pritchell's apartment. Frank Pritchell? Who's that? Remember the guy who pretended to be the handyman? Tully? Oh, yeah. But, wait. Why did he have it? That's what I'm going to find out. Well... Uh, here. Yes! Suplex Casey. For Ireland. For Ireland! Wait, I'm American. I'm, I'm not Irish. Uh, back to city map. Well... <sighs> gonna drink more water. Well, here we go. Calm down. Oh god, this is an accent. This is just me doing like an old woman voice. Or like an old, like, Karen mom voice. Her name literally is Sharon, so... Anyway. Um... Calm... Calm... Calm down, have we? Mom... Well... Well, are you ready to be civil? I really need to get that key back from you. Over my dead body! Don't tempt me. Well, it was so urgent that you had to come down to the club and talk to me. You know exactly what it is. You're doing this detective stuff again. Don't you mean sip, sop, sip? Frick, you're right, Rain. I should have sip, sop, sipped. 
can't believe this. <gasps> you know exactly what it is. You're doing this detective stuff again. I'm good at it. You know that scout and I worked out who killed Dick Stanford. I didn't say you would be good at it. If anything, that's what I'm worried about. Look, you've said your piece, Mom. You're scared. I get it. I don't I don't take pleasure in causing you stress, despite what you might think. But I can't... I can't hold myself back because of you. I'm good at this. I enjoy it. Even, even Detective Cross come around. But what if you die? <sighs> What's the point of being so scared of dying that you don't ever live? Ooh, that's a good line. But oh no, she's not impressed. <laughs> Look, that line would be good in something like Pixar's Soul, released on Disney Plus on December 25th, 2020. But it won't work for murder by numbers, unfortunately. That doesn't change anything. <sighs> was there anything else or was that it? Don't think this is over, Honor. I can't let you make the same mistake your father did. God knows he had his faults, but... The answer to my question was, no, there's nothing else. Okay. Ask me. Why did you share this photo? Hmm? Huh? What are you showing me that for? Mom, don't you remember? This is the photo I gave you from when we won our starshine last year. I remember. But why do you have it? The real, the real question is, the real question, Mom, is why you don't have it. I gave you this photo for a reason. Because I thought it might finally make you proud to see me successful. I should have realized I was trying to get blood out of a stone. Oh, Honor, stop being so dramatic. Just because I don't agree with most of your decisions doesn't mean I'm not proud of you. I always have been. You are? Wait, I definitely want to talk more about this, but I need to know how this photo ended up where it did. This one? I think I gave it to Ryan. You what? Oh, don't start all that again. It was during the divorce. I... I met with him, hoping you two could sort everything out. I showed him the photo to remind him how happy you could be. I wanted him to try. I wanted him to try. He asked if he could have it, and while well, I thought if it might help, why not? So if Ryan had this photo, how did it end up at Frank's? Ooh. I think I might have made the connection too, Scout. I don't know if it's the right connection, but it... Uh, uh, the pieces are starting to assemble. They are starting to assemble. I can see it in my mind's palace right now. I'm quickly going through the Murder by Numbers archives, trying to make the pieces and connections. Ryan definitely has something to do with the murder of the showrunner of Murder Miss Terry. Or Detective Miss Terry, what the show was called. I diagnosed Sharon with, Stop, proje stop projecting your chill issues onto your child. Yeah, that's a good diagno. That's a good diagnosis from Penny Cherry Crescent. Anyway, Scout, let's let's hear your connection. Anna, I think I'm. I think I have made a connection. Ryan hired Frank to kill. <laughs> <laughs> I am screenshotting that right now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it, the, that the meeting went down. Okay. Okay, okay. So, my ex, my shitty fucking ex, is uh, now working on this TV show. I want you to go and seduce the, um, produce the showrunner. Look, I don't know if he's, like, straight or bi or whatever. Uh, just, uh, you know, do, do, j just do a dance on him. It's probably fine. <laughs> Murder by Numbers. The one sh the one series with the most deaths. Surprisingly enough, the most, the horniest one. And yet, I don't get the vibe from it. I, I just have, I have a horrible head. I have a horrible mind. Realistically, I think Ryan hired Frank to kill Blake. I think. Ryan hired Frank to kill Blake? What? No. Ryan wouldn't. But Blake is clearly so cold in this photo. 
Wait a second. I think you're nearly right. But remember that recording from inside Blake's office? Frank didn't go there with the intention of killing Blake. Blake tried to call the cops, and then he got, and then he got killed in the struggle afterwards. That is correct. Let me amend my theory. Uh, Ryan hired Frank to blackmail Blake. What makes you think that, Scout? Remember when he hacked into the police fingerprint files? They showed that Frank worked for a private security firm called Leith Security. Blake has been circled in that photo. Given your mother's testimony, it doesn't make sense why she would have done so before handing it to Ryan. Therefore, we can assume that Ryan wanted to target Blake for something and went to Leith in order to do so. Doing his own dirty work is never something Ryan was interested in. But why? Why would he hire someone to blackmail Blake? Good question. Here's my theory. I, I think I know why. I think I know why. Because you, he, because you wanted to get you fired! Remember, remember the Polaroids we found in Blake's office? They proved that someone tried to get you fired! That bastard! You said that Ryan was very controlling. This could have been his attempt at to continue controlling you even after your divorce. I think it's time to set a little trap for my ex-husband. <laughs> I can't wait for this. Hey, Ryan, I thought about your offer and... Well, there's just one thing I want to check with you before I accept. Could you come by the club again at 2 p.m.? Wow, this guy bastard. That that guy bastard, all right. Great, see you then. Now to call Detective Cross. D Detective? It's Honor. Can you get back to Megalyn's? What? She's not? Okay, we'll start looking for more evidence until you get back. Honor, why won't you wait for me? Sorry, Scout. By the way, I just spoke to De Detective Cross. Looks like Cross has an alibi. So it wasn't her? Nope, so you get looking again. <laughs> uh, sorry, I didn't see you there. My name Crispin. Uh, wow. Wow, it it's it it can't just be me, but Crispin looks like he was designed by a different character designer than all the other characters. I don't know what about him. It it just doesn't it, it doesn't fit with the, the rest of the game. Hmm. So I'm just gonna give him a very silly voice. Sorry, didn't see you there. Oh, uh, I don't think they're going to be open today, to be honest. Uh-huh. Oh no, I'm helping out the investigation. Is that so? Well, don't let me stand in your way! What the? Yeah... I got a feeling he's involved. Uh, here? Yes? I really can't do any more investigation, because now we got a dude to talk to. A dude that... Okay, he kind of looks like he was designed by the same character designer, but also doesn't. It's weird. There's something very off about him. Although I'm sure that's entirely intentional to, like, throw a screw, a, a loose screw on our wrenches, so to say. Sorry, mister. I didn't give you my name. You're right, you didn't. Well, what should I call you then? KG? Is that how you start all conversations? With an insult? You haven't even told me your name! Uh, you're right. My apologies. I'm honored, Miss Rahi. I'm kind of a... Well, I guess I'm a private detective. Ish? It's not official, but... But I am Scout! Well, honor, Miss Rahi. My name is Crispin Hankwell. Thank you. And what do you do, Mr. Hankwell? I'm in finance. Right. I mean, he's kind of disheveled looking, but he still fits. I guess so. I guess so. Business boy. Business boy. Business boy. What brings you to the area today? I was in the neighborhood seeing a client. Not a regular here then. No offense to the clientele, but this isn't exactly my sort of place. <laughs> you can tell by my smile. But you figured you'd just stop here anyway? I'm just taking on the scene. It's not every day you see a shop front destroyed by a giant shoe, is it? Ah, true. He's a businessman with a business plan to not be gay. 
gonna make you money in business land. Businessman with the businessman. I'm gonna make you money in business land. Okay, Th those are some bars. I can I can get with it. Uh, this is a murder scene, Mr. Hakewell. Really? What a surprise! The body over there didn't definitely didn't give it away. I tried to think what what this will do to a business. It'll certainly cause a dent. Yeah, yes, yes, it'll certainly cause a dent, yes. Is there a reason you're waiting outside here? I was hoping I might bump into Fran, but I guess she's not around. Probably hanging in her office, drowning her sorrows. And it's a whole little song. I'll send it to you af before after stream. Oh, okay, Penny. So you know Fran, then? I thought you weren't a regular. Hey, I don't know what you're talking about! Okay, Ms. Ra Ms. Ms. Rahi, I haven't seen this little shroud this far, but the novelty is wearing off. Go bother someone else! Well, it's time to go bother someone else. Hey, are you homophobic? What does that have to do with me? You are homophobic. Got it. Okay, let's save. And go to the dressing room office. Hello, Fran! Doesn't seem like she's about. Fran. So, shall I scan for clues then? With the opportunity right here in front of us? I'd be foolish not to, right? Time for... More! Picross! Alright, it's on telegra telegram. Okay, I'll look at it after the stream's over. Pewter! I love Pewter! All my friends are in it. I love Pewter. I always go into my pooter every day to play Picross. That's actually what's happening right now. Whenever Picross is playing, it's because it's played on the on the pooter. Which has all my friends inside it. Three. Five. I go to my pooter and talk to my friends. I love my pooter. It has all my friends inside it. Three, four, five, six. Whoops. As your financial advisor, I. Whenever I hear as your financial advisor, I just think of that one Shark Tale YouTube poop where it's the crab in SpongeBob in SpongeBob's voice, and he's saying that. And then. No, that's all I got. <laughs> If you could tell, I'm not good at commentating today. I don't have a lot to think about for the current moment. But I'm sure something silly will pop up soon. I hope so. I think. I think you should kiss the homies goodnight. That is, everyone take Penny's advice. Kiss, kiss the homies. Give your homies the kiss. Three. You live in a pineapple. So, one here and one here. Five. Also, I'm gonna call it here. That extremely shady businessman. He he's he he's definitely related to this somehow. He he definitely has to be like the mer the moida. I think. He seems a little sussy. Why would he be here? If it's not a regular here. Hmm? Hmm? 
No, that's not right. That's right. Hmm. One... Wait a minute. Okay, and then two. But how is that not... Hmm... Something's not right here. Hmm. Pick cross do be hard though. Let's turn the hints on again. Okay, let's see. This two good? Yep, that two is good. And then... Hmm... No, three would have to be there. Three, two, one, one? Hmm, but... Um... Hmm... Wait, that's... wait... That's right, here. So then... That's gotta be three, but then... Hmm... Okay, so that's right. Um, hmm... Then this... Hmm. Two. Okay, got that right. Uh... Oh, okay, now I got it right. Alright, this looks like a desktop PC. Hey, it's Pooter. Now, I wonder why it's a Pooter. Ooh, we still got a long ways to go until we get case three done. On a desktop. There's a pewter here! A pewter, eh? Wonder what the pewter's for. Should I try to hack to the pewter? Well, it doesn't look like Fran's around, so why not? Puzzle start! Oh god. Oh no! Oh fuck. Um. Yikes! Two? Two two? Uh, uh, three, uh, two, two, one, one. Five, uh, one, three, one. Ain't done there. Uh, five. Two. 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 No! Two! Shhh! Hacking complete. It appears that this computer is mostly used for bookkeeping. Anything interesting? It's safe to assume the executive numbers are bad, yes? I don't know much about accounting either, but... Yeah, that seems like a good general rule. In which case, it appears that the club is not doing well financially. For four out of the five months, the club has made a loss. So friends in financial trouble? Hmm. I wonder. Okay, let's save. Uh, here. Why does it sound like penis music is playing? Uh, oh, excuse me. Oop. Oh. 
He's like, bow, 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 bow. I'm getting the music totally wrong tonight. There's something I can talk about. Um, I oops, wrong place. I finally saw Space Jam 2 yesterday because all the folks are talking about it. it it's the I don't know if, if it's the new rage of the day, but it is certainly a rage. Not against the machine, though. Anyways, um, I saw I saw Space Jam 2 yesterday. It was well. It was Space Jam 2. That is all I can say on that. Whoops. Sure was, huh? Yeah. I mean, if you want to enjoy it, Bog Champ. All I can say is it, it, it is Space Jam 2. So. Take that information and do whatever you want with it. We are now exploring the mystery of what happened to. Oh fuck, where can I go from here? Uh, no, okay, that makes sense. Or. Damn, not here. Letters! S starting with the letter A. I got the feeling that Fran doesn't have much of a filing system. That uh, reminds me of your handbag, Anna! Since when did you get so sassy? Maybe, you, maybe you've been hanging around Casey too much. Uh, you know, getting the homosexuality off of Getting the what off of what? The many utility bills, water, electricity, all seem to be settled up to date. Really? I wonder if she paid them when the tangs are so bad. Oh, look at these! A bunch of rejections from loan companies. Fran was trying to get a loan? Find anything interesting? Oh, uh, oh Fran! Oh, uh, we we were just looking for a wall outlet! I need a recharge! Uh, you know, I would have thought that private investigators would be better liars. <laughs> well! I, uh, let me explain. Casey told us you weren't feeling very well, so we came to see how you are. How sweet of you! I'm fine. I was just feeling a little overwhelmed by everything. Dark Souls victory text. Homie kissed. Fuck yeah! Chat, can we get a Pog Champ for kissing the homies? And YouTube commentators, can we get a, a like for kissing the homies? Then I went to the bathroom and, well, I guess that's when you took your chance to have a little snoop around, huh? Ah, uh ah, -huh. uh -huh. your office is unique. Uh -huh. Well, it has to be the dressing room too. Still, I guess that's no excuse for the desk being so messy, is it? If you'd like, I could show you some great sor sorting algorithms. I think that might be a losing battle. You have tried tidied it. It'd be like this again in a few days. Ironically, this homie is also named Ruby. Fuck yeah, chat. Can we get a pog champ for the homies called Rupees? Or Ruby, and in the YouTube viewers, can we get a, a a subscribe and a like for anyone named Ruby? Thank you. I'm just not that good at all this admin stuff. Guess that's a side effect of not going to business school. If you don't mind me asking, why did you buy the club? I'd been a regular performer here for years. The old owner Daphne wanted to sell it so she could retire to Palm Springs. Or Palm Springs adjacent, anyway. 
I never really imagined myself running my own business, but some of the other girls encouraged me to go for it. I thought, well, how hard could it be? Clear up my savings account, and here we are. Guess I was quite naive, huh? Wow, wish I had that much in savings. You didn't need a loan or anything? I don't see what that has to do with... No, no, I didn't. Hmm, guess my good friend Ruby? More likely than you think. Chad, can we get a pog champ for kissing a friend named Ruby? And in the YouTube uh, section, can we get uh, a thumbs up emo emoji in the comment section for kissing a friend named Ruby? <laughs> Love that this is the, where the commentary is at right now. Desktop pooter! Couldn't help but notice that you might be having some money issues. Yes, things haven't exactly been easy, but we're getting by. Just means I've had to be careful with money. Tight my belt a little, you know? You're pogging so much for me kissing a- getting a kiss. I am! Well, now I'm asking Chad to pog, champ, but there's only one person here right now, so... Mm hmm. Hopefully other people will come here and leave up a, a, a pog and the champ in the chat. Because, uh, hey, kissing people named Rubies is very pog, champ. Just means tighten my belt a little, you know? Well, of course it. But you've been losing money each month, and you said that you had no float money. I don't explain my finances to you. You're not my accountant. Damn, you're right. I, I don't accountant. That's not my college degree. We found these letters on the desk. There's a bunch of instructions from loan companies. And? Well, you said you didn't get a loan. Exactly. That's why they're rejection letters. But then how are you paying your bills? You said that you didn't have any savings. I've just been extremely careful with money, okay? I watch every cent. No frivolous purchase or, purchases or anything. Hmm. Something doesn't something doesn't add up here. And we're not talking about your accounts. Well, we kind of are, but I admire the commitment to the joke. Oh, Fran, I don't think you're telling us the truth. That which has been clear for a while. Please, go ahead. You must have some other source of money. We know you've kept up to date with your bills, but the club's been lost money every month. And by your own testimony, you have no savings left after purchasing the club. And yet again, I've said that I've just been careful with money taking over. No, that's not it. You did get a loan! I know you can't believe that. You saw the rejection of the letters while you were snooping around my desk. We did. What bank would want to give a loan to a falling business? So the question remains. Who did give you a loan? And on what terms? Oh! Uh, you know what? I've had enough of this. I'm sorry, but it's been a very long day and I'm still processing everything. Then to have you two look in every corner of my business, find my failings, and then bring me up on them, it's too much. Please, I'd like to ask you to leave, both of you. Uh <sighs> Sure, I'm sorry we've upset you. That was a load of nothing. <laughs> That was a very fun, very important nothing. And did, did you find Fran? We did, but I think we upset her. Oh. Oh, what have you done now? We just had some questions about our finances. I should probably give her a bit of space. I've pissed her off quite a few times over the years. Don't worry, she'll come around in time. De Detective Cross, you're back. Yeah, figured I should give Raz a lift back, seeing as she so kindly helped the investigation. This is great, but Ryan's gonna be here any minute. Ryan, just what are you planning? I stay here, but listen in. I think you're about to hear something interesting. Scout still looks so defeated. He's like, Aw, we fucked up, Otto. We truly fucked up. We fucked it all up. And I was like, how did you... Never mind, I know why you know that word. Oh, this is horrible! And then we're out here any minute now. Anna, I'm confused. I don't understand what's happening. Get ready to record this scout. You're about to see the greatest performance of your life! How do I look? You look 84.2% of your best. If there's one thing I can rely on you, it's painful accuracy. Honor? Showtime! Ryan, you... you came? Well... 
here we go. Uh, most recent save here. No, most latest save. There it is. You know what? Before I do this, since this will require a lot of talking, um, I'm gonna take a quick break, a small teeny itsy bit break so I can refill my water bottle and have my throat ready for all of this. So we'll be right back. I want you all to know the reason why that um, break was longer than it is. It was both to reblock my post, but also because that is one of my favorite One-Winged Angel and Space Jam mashups ever. Oh. And also uh, probably one of the most hyped the most I can get the stream hyped up for. Anyways, we're back! Hello everyone! Welcome back, Torrential Rain! Hope you're having a good night! Uh, wowie, it's Ruby! Wowie, it's me! And wowie, it's Penny! My voice is back, kind of. I'm just gonna take a, a little, a few more sips, hop sips. Oh. <sighs> Anyways, where were we? Oh yeah, right! Ryan was gonna reveal something. Or we'll make Ryan reveal something. Oh boy, here we go! What did you want to talk about? Uh, thanks for coming, Ryan. There's just something I wanted to ask before I accept your offer. I've gotta admit, I was surprised to hear it from you so soon. You weren't ex exactly receptive earlier. I know, I'm sorry. I reacted badly and I've been thinking about the job offer a lot. <laughs> oh, no, you didn't tell me you were going to accept the job! Ha ha ha, he's kidding! Just for a long stroke. So, what did you want to ask me? Ever since seeing you at the Star Trek Awards, I have not been able to stop going over everything that happened between us. And I think that's why I acted out earlier. I don't know what to think. I was angry at you for so long, but... Where do you think we went wrong? Well... That's quite a complicated question. We had a good few, few years, but... To be honest, I just couldn't compete with your paranoia. What? Uh, yeah, you're probably right! I mean, you questioned everything. You came up with all these conspiracy theories about how I was trying to control you, trying to keep you away from your friends and family. You were gonna quit the show for us so that we could spend more time together, and suddenly one day you said I'd made you do it. All I was trying to do was be a good husband, keep you safe, stop you from making mistakes you'd come to regret. You're right. I, for some reason, I just couldn't accept that you were looking out for me. I thought you were selfish. And controlling. And arrogant. But I was wrong! I'm happy you can admit that. Yeah! Hey, by the way, did you have... Which is why this is... I know I can have problems believing you, which is why if this is, if this has any future, and you know that we're getting everything out, that we're starting from zero. Okay, that seems reasonable. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Look at his stupid smug face. I'm gonna punch him right here and right now. One, two, three! <laughs> no, I'm not gonna punch my laptop. But spiritually, I am. Um, I just decked him across the face. I just want y'all to know that. So, I want to ask you something. And please, if you can just be honest, honestly, I can move on. We can build on this. Did you? have anything to do with me getting fired from the show. W what? I know, I know, but this is the last thing standing in the way of us. Why on earth would I want to get you fired? Well, for the same reason you wanted Murder Miss Terry to be wiped from the Star Shine Awards this year. To get back at me. I, well, I... That was one mistake, Goddard, and I've told you how sorry I am for doing that. So no, I didn't have anything to do with your firing. Why would you think I did why would you think I did? Now, the evidence for the big reveal. Say! Recognize this? Uh huh. Oh, this. Isn't this the photo you gave to your mom? Yeah! 
they found in the apartment of the guy that killed Blake. That's... Huh? That's weird. Oh shit, oh fuck, oh shit, oh fuck, oh shit, oh fuck, oh shit, oh fuck, oh shit, oh fuck. Also, when we searched Blake's office, we saw that he'd been blackmailed to fire me. The working hypothesis is that Frank went to do it, but something went wrong and he ended up accidentally killing Blake. There's that imagination playing its tricks on you again. I didn't come up with that theory. Detective Cross did. He did? I, uh, I see. But the thing is, this link copy of this photo, and Mom said she gave it to you. Here we go again. Okay, out of the sit points your career, your Star Trek moment. I know, I know, and trust me, I'm working on it. I've been, I've ever, I've, I've even been having therapy. All I want is for you to tell me the truth. Then I can forgive you, and we can start again. <sighs> okay, fine. What did you fired? I had no idea that it would end up in Blake getting killed. All I said was to scare him a little. Uh, that's it. <laughs> Alternate universe. Where instead he says, All I said was to seduce him a little. Uh, that's it. Uh, you know, d you know, d do a little dance on him. G give him the, d the, the wettest sloppy ever. You think I wanted to be involved in all this? You said this to Tully. Frank himself? No, that is a contract at a firm. Leth or something. All I said was kiss him a bit. God. <laughs> Honestly, Honor, you've got to believe me. I had no idea we were going to end up like this. Okay. I believe you. You know, you're right. You have to start fresh. In a weird way, I'm glad I've finally been able to say it out loud. I feel kinda cleansed, cleansed. Oh, I'm very glad you've said it out loud. Huh? What do you... You didn't record me, did you? With that robot of yours? Even if you did, you know it's not admissible in court. California law requires both parties to consent. Oh? Now who's paranoid? Don't worry, Ryan. I didn't record you. Must because, because I have something far more reliable. Very interesting. Very interesting, Mr. Blackstock. Very interesting indeed. You! But I... I... Ryan Blackstock, I'm arresting you for the murder of Frank Pritchell. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be fired for you. But I'm guessing that would be a problem for a Blackstock. Uh, this is ridiculous! I did kill him! Maybe not, but a, but a conspiracy charge is a given. Maybe even withholding information. We're going away for a long time. Well, I hope you're happy, Otter. Enjoy being alone! You're damn right, I'm happy. I haven't been this happy since the day we were divorced. Oh, I'm sure. You're gonna die a very sad old spinster if you keep pushing people away. She'll never be alone, Ryan, because she's got me. Good work, Ms. Rahi. I'll get him down to the station right away. But what about this case? That can wait. Just look at me back in the good books for the chief. I knew there was something fishy going on here, and this is proof. You stay here. Keep looking for leads. Are you sure? Are you turning down the opportunity to be in charge? No, I just... I didn't think you would. Just come... Just come find me down at the station once you've got something. And the star shine for best actress goes to... Anna, that was amazing! Pretending no one right back might have been the, my most difficult role to date. But it was worth it. I finally understand why humans sometimes say things that aren't true. This is a big discovery for me! I just can't believe he really did it. I guess a part of me still wanted to trust him. Even if he didn't mean to get like, killed, all this happened because of him. My life my life got turned upside down. All because he wanted to punish me for escaping his control. I understand, but perhaps it might be helpful to think that some good came from it too. If you hadn't need my help, then maybe we wouldn't be together now. You're right, Scout. You know, you're getting pretty good at this emotional support thing. Being around you and Casey has taught me more than just the, alter the alternative meaning of shade. Oi, loves! Who'd have thought it's me, a positive influence on someone? Not me, that's for sure. Anyway, Detective Cross put us in charge. We need to prove we can do this without him. 
Right. We should talk to Roz. Find out what happened at the station. Well, let's do that. That was good. We got a lot off our chest there. We, we got a, we got one of the mystery solves out of I I can only assume the next few mysteries since we're at the second half of the game. Now look who it is! Here to get me sent downtown again. Uh, sorry for getting you in trouble with Cross. It's nothing personal. You just have to examine every possibility. It's fine, darling. Wasn't my first time at police station. It probably won't be my last. How did it go down there? I ain't a suspect anymore, if that's what you're asking. But hell, given my history, I'd probably think I'd had something to do with it, too. Good thing I had an alibi. What do you mean, your history? I ain't hiding the fact that I've been in a lot of scuff scuffles in my time. That's the danger of growing up with five brothers, you see. Hell, if I hadn't learned to stand my ground, I'd have been trampled into it. I didn't want to be rude, but you did come across as a little... scrappy. Do! Scrappy-Doo, the Scooby-Doo character. I just assumed it, it was a part of the character, Scrappy-Doo. Well, it kinda is. I'm just that kind of person. But I get to express it in two different ways with my two jobs. You have another job? This gig don't pay enough to make a living, so I also work as a security guard during the day. But it's kinda restrictive, you know. You have to act like a tough guy. Wear a certain uniform, strike fear into their hearts. Be all butch and masculine. That sounds scary! Did do your work at a prison? Ha! Nah! Shady Acres Retirement Village. Ding dong! You mentioned that you had an alibi? Sure! Didn't mention it earlier because Fran was around here. It's kinda sensitive, but... Well, this'll explain it. <gasps> Puzzles! <laughs> Fuck yeah, this'll be explained in a puzzle! I love... I love Picross. Most game ever. Spaghetti. And also all that watermelon I had before the stream. Who uh. <laughs> my throat? Good evening, by the way. Two... I guess one here and two here? Yep. I'm having a decent time. That's good to hear.
four, five, six, seven, eight. Yay, it's Rain! Woo! Rain, our friend Rain is here! Also, Volkatha, my friend Volkatha is here! Hello, guys! I hope you're all having a good evening tonight. I heard today was the bi-weekly movie thing on the server. Very sorry I wasn't there for it. I am streaming right now. Wow, people are here! Yeah, people are finally here! It's not just Penny! <laughs> and me! It It's more people! Woo! I love people. Especially if they're my friends! Well, it was cancelled due to me. Ah. I'm very sorry to hear that it didn't... It wasn't smooth. I know how that feels like. But yay, friends! Matchbook! Still D for dick, huh? Gotta be a while till we get that to C. Okay. It's a book of matches. Looks like they're professional. It says the boiler room on the front. The boiler room? That's another gay club over in Weast. And Weast? East? I thought you said Weast. <laughs> I really said Weast Hollywood. Or I was going to say Weast Hollywood. Discord screen share wouldn't show the video, and figuring that out was a big no. Um, well, actually, I do know an alternative to sharing a screen with people. Um, it's what I use whenever I. Whenever I watch things with my friend Dead. Like, what do you know? Pokemon the first movie. Um, I'm gonna remember what it is with my epic brain. Ah, uh, remembering with my big brain. Pachoo! Amogus! Uh, okay, now I remember. Invited.tv. The thing is, though, if you're only on there for free, um, I think you only have like three hours per session. Here's the link. Uh, you could use that as an alternative to screen sharing with people. In my experience, at least, with my good friend Ted, it worked. It's worked. No problem, Volgatha. Glad to help a friend. Anyways, anyways, that's another gay club over in West Hollywood. Not my sort of place. It, it's twinks as far as the eye can see. Uh, when you see twinks everywhere. It's this, it's this place's main competition, actually. That's where I went after I left here last night. I started performing there now and then. It's tricky. I love Fran, I do, but I know the Ryan's on the wall for this place. All of us girls do. I gave Cross this matchbook, called them up, and they confirmed I was there till a few hours ago. I get why you wouldn't want to stay, say this around Fran. I'm sure she'd understand, but I don't want to hurt her feelings, you know? Casey wants that twink obliterated. Casey, when he looks at, um, whatever, the, the boiler's room. He, he says, he, he says... <laughs> <laughs> well, we should go. You've taken up enough of your time. No skin off my nose. I'll be here if you want to ask me anything else. Roz, can I ask you something? Sure thing, little guy. What's up? You seem to know a lot about gender. People keep referring me using male pronouns. Does this mean I am a man? Oh boy, that is a big question. Well, you're a robot, right? So I guess you're not really a woman or a... A man or a woman? Maybe folks just call you he because it's easier? Or maybe it's because we live in a man's world and that's just the default. But I have male and female interface connectors. Here, let me show you my RS-232 cable. Ha ha ha, thanks for all the offer. But I wouldn't know what to do with them. Listen, Scout, truth is that this really isn't something you need to worry about too much. You're just you. That's enough for now. Just... Just keep to just keep trucking on. Maybe over time you'll feel more one way or the other. Maybe you'll feel a bit both or neither. There's no way to decide now. Just live your life, baby. 
I think I understand. I am Scout! Ha ha ha! Well, that's the spirit! I am Scout Jada. <laughs> my pronouns, my pronouns are Scout, Scout! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, his pro his pronouns would be he, he would be he him. <laughs> oh, this oh this robot definitely has no beanie. He has he, he he does have binary, but it's all science binary. In reality, he has no gender. Uh, let's go to the bar. See what we can do in there. There, there's the disheveled guy that I thought didn't look like he belonged in this game, but he ki kind of does, actually. Oh, like I said last night, I expect you to meet the schedule, like as we both agreed. <laughs> but you've seen this place. It's going to take weeks before the insurance pays out. You need to get the repairs started now if we're going to re reopen this month. It sounds like a you problem, not a me problem. <laughs> And not even just a few days? Contracts are contracts, I'm afraid, and I think I've made it clear what'll happen if you're late. Jeez, my throat. He him. Okay, I think I'm. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, yeah, that is just what I did. <laughs> I just went to the bathroom because I coughed up a lot of mucus that was in my throat. I don't know where this mucus is coming from. Again, can only assume it came from the spaghetti I just had before the stream, and also the watermelon. But when you have the noodles with the cheese, the, it does turn into mucus. And oh man, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. Man, I have a lot of ice cubes in here. I'll just put an ice cube in my mouth. And suck on it. Or I'll just do that. I think that actually worked. Sucking on an ice cube. You know, I'll just keep this open so I can pick out ice cubes and suck on them. I don't, actually, I'll... Okay, um, actually, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm good. Yeah, no, I get what you mean there, Rain. I've been there. I've been there a lot lately. I am just the type to have mucus in my throat. Before a lot of times. So, you know. Very fun moments. 
but fine, I'll go get it. I'll be waiting. I need a therapist. <laughs> well, that sounded suspicious. Oh, please. So does 90% of the stuff we say take enough context? I'm sure there's a logical explanation. Hmm. Well, now I gotta know. Jeez, Ruby, are you okay? Oh, you know. Y you know. You know. I'm gonna look that up, actually. Murder by numbers. Out of context. There should be a murder by numbers out of context account, right? Nope. Nope, can't find anything about this game on Tumblr, actually. Oh no, instead I found something about the Holocaust! Hmm! Hmm, maybe I'm not gonna look that up on Tumblr. Hmm? Whew. Like I said, I had spaghetti earlier. So, you know, and when you have the cheese in there, oh, boom, fun stuff in my throat. Maybe I should stream before I have dinner, like way earlier. And the thing is, I've been trying to stream way earlier today, but I had to take a shower. And then after I took a shower, I was looking away from my stream and instead focusing on other stuff. And then Pat Mac posted, or no, it was Matt Pack. Was, no, it's Pat Mac. Pat Mac, one of my favorite YouTubers who hasn't posted a video in like 10 months, posted a new video tonight about Lost Media that was an hour long. And I thought, ooh, I gotta watch this now, so I'll delay the stream an extra hour. And then by the time I was done with that video, um, Mom had finished dinner, so I thought, hey, I'll just have dinner before I start the stream and then drink a lot of water. That should be good. And I did. Still, though, that wasn't good. Mmm. Probably not a good idea to do that in front of a very voice acting heavy game, especially for a game I haven't played in like two weeks. So, you know. I burp a lot after I eat, so I mute my mic. Oh yeah, that's what I've been doing too lately, like whenever I cough or, ha or have something in my throat, I usually mute that. Or whenever I sneeze. Hmm. Hmm. I just don't think you guys would like to hear that while I play a game about murdering by numbers with Picross, baby, and a lot of voice acting from yours truly. But yes, I think my my throat is good now. I think I feel your sneezes are funny. Wait, have you guys heard my sneezes? I don't. That's the thing with streams. Sometimes I don't remember half the stuff I say. Because I've been streaming a lot. But have I sneezed before? And can anyone confirm this? I'm gonna suck on more of my ice cubes. mean after the ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Oh hey, that's good. But yeah, no, my sneezes are pretty loud. I'm usually like, achoo! Or something like that. I did wish I sneezed like a kitty cat though. That'd be nice. Anyways. Time to... Time to go back to Casey's voice. Oh, he loves... Oh, please. So does 90% of the stuff we say taken out of context. I'm sure there's a logical explanation. Save... Uh, here. Yes. Okay, let's uh, talk to you, Crippen. I'm back, Penny. I'm cold now. Uh, Quinn's cold. I'm sorry, Quinn. <gasps> Wait! No, yeah! I remember! Hey, Quinn! Penny's cool! You can give them a hug now! If you, if you so desire. You again? What do you want? 
Sorry for the backseat streaming. I just care about you. Oh no, that's fair. I get you there, Rain. I overheard you and Fran talking earlier. It sounded pretty intense. It also sounded quite private, I imagine. Well, yeah, but nothing. It didn't involve you then, and it doesn't involve you now. Why are you hanging around here? Uh, business, as in what I do for a living. Also, none of yours. Is there any reason you're being so guarded? You're really getting on my last nerve right now. <laughs> just because other people answer your question doesn't mean I'm going to. Okay, it just seems to me like you're hiding something. We're all hiding things, Mr. Miss Mizrahi. There's not a single person on this planet that isn't keeping secrets. I dare say that as a public figure, yours are particularly valuable. Collateral is a large part of my business. Are you threatening me? No, of course not. Why would I have any need to threaten you? I'm merely saying that those look for skeletons and closets should have should keep their own affairs in order, lest the investigator become the investigated. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well, guess we gotta do more Picross. Baby, can I do this with... No, I gotta do this with the mouse. Okay, wh what can we find here? Oh? Okay, my throat's good now, I think. Okay, now it's good. Hmm. Aw, oh, the homies in chat are hugging. Very Pog Champ. Guys, can I get a Pog Champ for hugging the homies? And YouTube viewers, can we get a Pog Champ for. Huh? Wait, what is that? The YouTube police? Oh, fuck! You guys can't get me! I'm on Twitch, not YouTube! Not YouTube! Kill me? That was pretty fucked up. Anyways, hi guys, I'm back. Uh, Picross! Woo, Picross, baby! I'm not actually dead. They won't kill me, it's it's my job. Actually, this, this isn't my job, but I like to joke about that because people like that relatable humor. Have a hug to celebrate not dying. Ah, uh, thank you. Chat, can we get a Pog Champ for hugging the homies and YouTube viewers? Don't do anything. Don't tell YouTube, please. I I, I don't want to die again. I would love to not die two times today. Uh, just dying once is enough. Well, no, that's a lie. I've canonically I've died m multiple times. This is not my first nor my last time I'll ever die. 
So, so you all better watch out! Okay, maybe I'll let the YouTube chat do one incentive. Uh, YouTube comment section. Oh, um, uh, leave, uh, share my VODs if you agree that kissing the homies is a pretty pog champ. Maybe let's turn on hints. See if this helps. Seems the same emote is there under two different names. Kessu you on the forehead. Thank you so much, Quinn. Uh, YouTube comment section. Can we get a chair on kissing the homies on the forehead? <laughs> <laughs> I really love this joke I have going on. It's a really good fun joke. One where after a pog worthy moment, I'm like, can we get a pog champ? And I have to let YouTube do something because people do watch these VODs on YouTube, I believe. I mean, I'm sure there's definitely bound to be someone watching this on YouTube. So why not? Hey, no, I got it right. Okay, there it is. I'm all about kissing the homies with consent and comfort. Whereas before there is now. Yeah, same here, Penny. I feel you there. Ask to kiss the homies before you kiss the homies. Message by streamer clown Kiwi. Kiss the homies. Ask them if they want to be kissed. I am all for consensual kissing. The homies on the mouth. Smiley face. Kissing your friends is good, actually. Valerie Halla, Penny Cherry Crescent. Wow, I love that person. She's really incredibly sexy and powerful and cute and adorable. I'm talking about Valerie Halla. I don't know who this. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna be mean today. No, no, no. I know this person, Penny Cherry Crescent. She's very pog champ. Uh, who, who's, who's Valerie Halla? Who, who are they? I don't know them. No, you're right, Val kicks ass. <laughs> no! What have I done? <laughs> Three, four, five. Guys, this is a very pog un pog chip worthy. Uh unsubscribe if you think that was not worthy. I I'm talking to YouTube, of course, not Twitch. You can't even subscribe on my streams yet. Nope, not there. Four, three, one? Yes. I don't know what this is supposed to be, and I definitely know this isn't Mike, and I know he's not hard, so this should be fine. Two, two, one, subscribes. You know! No, wait, no. Could Rain be CEO of Twitch? Oh, thank God for letting me be affiliate CEO of Twitch Rain. I hope you enjoy the subscription. I have all the emotes ready for this occasion. I did! I did! It's it's fine. It's fine! Also, look at that little neat button. It's where you can buy me coffee if you so desire or want to. Wait. One, two, one. Mike's hard? I don't know who Mike is and I don't care about why he's hard. I don't care if Mike's hard and don't call me Lemonade. <laughs> That's what it was. Thank you, Penny. <laughs> I was getting that entirely wrong. All, all of that was wrong. I'm not Mike. Who, who is this Mike? I'm too sexy to be Mike. Four. One. Two. Three. One, yes. 
three, one, one, three, one. Micaplier from Until Dawn. I know that bitch. Didn't the LA gangs get to him? Ah, tits! You found tits! Oh shit! No, I can't show this on stream. You YouTube's gonna kill me, and so is Twitch. So instead, you get um Jack Walton's ass here. This is what we want. Jack Walton's ass. This isn't as nearly as bad as tits. It's fine. Don't worry about it, chat. <laughs> <laughs> It's fine, chat. Don't worry about it. Wow, I got five viewers already. That's good. <laughs> Y'all came here for the Jack Walton S? Okay, uh, puzzle complete. Goodbye, white boy. Ah, see for cock! Now we're, now we're getting somewhere. Oh, no. I believe there's something interesting hidden behind the stage curtain. Huh? It's a little statue of a headless sailor? No, not quite sailor. Slightly piratey. It's nautical, but kind of fabulous. Oh, that's Maggie. She's the mascot of this place. Maggie Magdalene. But wait, what happened to her head? Based on the texture of the deck area, it appears that this is not a statue of a headless sailor, but rather a statue from which the head has been removed. Why did someone have removed that? Ah! Oh! Thank you, Rain. Awesome Thank you for am. buying a certified clown kiwi circus, circus coffee. I hope you enjoy the taste. It's a nice, warm taste. Oh, <gasps> fuck! Wait a minute. Oh no, Fiona streaming. Well, I'm. I didn't even know Fiona started streaming. I'll have to end stream soon. Well, actually, not super soon, but. Maybe after another puzzle? Mayhaps. Also, wow! Gay rights! Another person named Ruby liked me on this dating app I'm on. I bought two. Hey, so you can share with the chat now, Rain. But wow, I have totally been ignoring. <laughs> Ruby, you're allowed to stream at the same time as other people. Uh, yeah, but I, just, I don't want to miss their streams. Uh... And Fiona is the real is the real homie. You know what? You know what? Sure. When, once we get to the three hour mark, then I'll stop. That that's reasonable, I think at least. And hey, if you're worried, don't worry. Um, there's gonna be another bird by number stream tomorrow, anyways, because I want to catch up on this game. And thankfully, then um. If I'm able to do it earlier in the day, then I won't have a problem of streaming at the same time as Fiona. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not like I'm at Fiona's apartment right now where if anyone's streaming at the same time as each other, there would be a lot of traffic and whatnot. No, I'm chill and cool. Anyways. Why would someone have removed the head? Seems a bit weird to me. Hey, you know anything about tits? I'm not interested in looking at your garbage, thanks. Got it, yeesh, yeesh, yeesh. Okay, let's save. Um... Cool, I'm gonna play Minecraft and try to get a mending book now. Pug. <gasps> That's not the oldest save. Well, uh, dressing room office. Brown bricks in Minecraft. Fran. <gasps> oh, Honor, it's just you. Sorry about earlier. I'm just a bit everywhere at the moment. Well, okay, that's good. We won't be in your way then. What could be in that bag? Let's find out now.
That's a head. I like head. <laughs> no, no, I can't make any more. I love giving heads jokes. I, I gotta stop. I need to stop. Okay, eight, nine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go. Two. Two. Ruby, I think you might be gay. I wonder. Hey, and I just thought <laughs> I just lost a couple of viewers. That's that's Pog. <laughs> God, Ruby's gay. Guys, I'm sorry to tell you this, but I am gay. Seven, eight, nine. I understand if you must unfollow me because I am a home of sexual. Ruby, why did you never tell me? I mean, I'm 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 sure it was the the writings on the wall. Um, is there anything gay I have here? No, not there. Not here. Not here. What the? There's no gay anywhere in my streams. That isn't good. That needs to be changed immediately. Do I have a picture of two men kissing each other? Let's find out. Um... No, I do not have a picture of two men kissing each other. Uh, okay. Two men kissing... No, 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 no. Two women kissing each other. Okay, let's see if I have a pic saved in my laptop of two women kissing each other. I'm gay. There should possibly be pictures of two women kissing each other, right? <gasps> no, I just remembered! Male wife romance! I do have a picture of two men kissing each other. Here, I gotta find it. Oh, where are you? Of male wife romance. Pick cross streams doodles. And. Okay, here it is. I found it. Okay, so this picture is huge. Okay, actually, there's a lot of gay on this picture. If anything, I think this picture is enough proof that I am a homosexual. But the one specific thing on here I want to highlight is male wife romance. I just gotta crop it first up. Uh, filters. And I just gotta crop the male wife romance. Uh, crop. Male wife romance. Crop. Left. 10. 50. 200. 400. 50? Okay, 450 is good. Uh. Alright! 500. No. 700. 900? <gasps> Whoops! Too far! Okay, good. Now top. Uh, 100. 500. 700. Nope, too far. 900. No, I can't leave the male wife out. 150? Okay, good. Yep, close. Here it is. I'm very sorry, guys, but uh, here is an image of t two men kissing. Well, they're not kissing each other, but they are two men looking at each other uh, homosexually. So here it is, and to make sure I'm gonna put it here. The there. There! Perfect place. <laughs> I'm gonna rename this I'm gonna rename this actually on OBS to Male Wife Romance. There, Male Wife Romance. Now back to Picross. <laughs> More shoes officiating their wedding. <laughs> yeah! Holy shit, he is, isn't he? Oh wait, there's a one there already. Uh, two? Morshu, um... Gay, gay. I'd say he's gay. Six. Oh, 
rope bombs you want it it's yours my friend as long as you have enough rupees you know now now i'm gonna ask the real questions um what would morshu do for pride month like to boost sales at his business because he is obviously a, a man with a plan who wants the money so you gotta stop and think what would he do real question I do respect the hustle, though. Also, a definitive reason as to why my streams are better than Fiona's at the current time right now. I am not playing a horror game right now. This is decidedly not a horror game. Compared to Thursday night. Paints the bombs rainbow? <gasps> oh yeah, he would win T. He would do that. You're right. Maybe the ropes would have like the like transgen transgender flags, like they'd have like baby pink, baby blue, and white on them. Hmm. Anyways, I found an X-ray. Look at that. Anna, this envelope contains something interesting. It's plastic foil coated in silver bromide. That's an X-ray. Looks like an arm. I wonder what this is doing here. When he arrived, Fran told Casey she had a she had broken her arm last week. Perhaps this is hers. Interesting. But this X-ray. But this x-ray is dated today. Hmm. In in interesting for sure. Uh, let's say here. Yes. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna go pee. Now the homie's got a pee, so I'll be um I'm gonna take a quick piss break while I am gone. Um Enjoy more of Mr. Walton Files White getting it. So, boop! I think this gif also shows how gay you are. Also, I mean that as a compliment. Wait, what? This? Oh, I don't, I don't like men. No, no, no. I'm, I, I, I like girls. I'm gay. I'm gay! Uh, what's something else gay I can show off? Um, hmm. Can I duplicate this? Uh Wait, you like girls? I do like girls. I do like girls. Here, wait, let me show you. Here's an image I drew a few uh last year when I was lesbian. L les lesbian Tamagotchis. Uh, 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 gay! This is gay! I'm gay! There, I also put that on the corner of the. Wow, the corner of the stream is getting filled up, huh? <laughs> nice. I am, but you know what? I think if this perfectly shows off my sec my sexuality. I am bisexual, so you know. What's gay, by the way? I'm a visual learner. Hey, what's a girl? <laughs> I'm gonna make a dumb. Hey, what's a girl cock joke? I was gonna make a dumb like. Oh, hey, what's a girl cock? I I'm a visual learner, by the way. <laughs> it's a very easy joke for me to make. Ooh. Okay, actually, I actually yeah, that that's the furthest I'll go with that type of joke. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna two from BFB. I hate that British green, that green British bitch. I, I want to deck them in the face. 
I won. Also, I am not a ContraPoints enjoyer. I will just say that. Hi, Luke. Okay. We're disgusting! Yeah. And also because I don't watch ContraPoints. I haven't seen any of ContraPoints videos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two. Two. Four. I love learning visually. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, but I... And that's the end of the joke. But it's a free fill... The free fill in the blank joke. Fill that in with whatever. Wanna say a slur? Go ahead! The mods are here though, so be careful with- Well, no, just actually don't say slurs. No, 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 no. No. I opened myself up for that, and I'm gonna shut the book immediately. Two? Uh... Two? Uh... Two? Three, four, five, six. One. Uh... That good! Hey, that is good. Bog champ. Three. One, no, one. That should be right, because that is a two. Well, maybe, hmm. Got that right. Um, five, one. No, okay. Def. Well, no, eight. No, no, it's good. <laughs> yeah, no, I got that right. Okay. Um, hmm. Four. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Five. Two, one, two, two, two. Yeah, okay, this is good. And then two. Whoops. Two. Yay! Wait a minute, that isn't right. Yeah. There. That also isn't right. Oh, right, of course. Wait. Wait a second. One, two, three, four, five, six. But. Ah! Uh -huh. Yeah, something isn't. Something isn't adding up here. Um. Reset puzzle? Sure. I am fine with that. Wow, that was a loud noise! Jesus! Didn't know it would be that loud! Five, one, two, three, four, five. 
then two here, then three, four, five, one, four, three, two, Wait, that's two there. I guess that's one. And then one, two. How is that still not right, though? Like... <sighs> hmm... Maybe eight. No! No, okay, now I see what the problem is. No, wait. Ah, there it is. That's what I was getting wrong. <laughs> I understand. I understand. I get it. I get it now. I finally get it. So... Wait. That's six. So then this must be two. That is nothing. So then... Okay, I got it. I got this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright. One. Hmm. Ah, oh, okay, that's right. Back, part two, Electric Boogaloo. Hello, Quinn. Welcome back. Uh, how was it that whatever you're doing? Oh, Minecraft. How was Minecraft? Brown bricks in Minecraft. Wowie, it's Quinn, everyone's favorite person. One of my favorite people. a lot of favorite people. And also, when you had Walton Files ass on screen, it's gay. Not because you're a mulama, but because you watch the Walton Files, which makes you gay. And you're right. Anyone that watches the Walton Files is gay. Even if you're straight. If you're straight, I'm sorry, but you are gay. You watch the Walton Files. I, I didn't... I can't make the rules. I only enforce them. That's being written out by Quinn. Oh, eating again for the second time tonight? Oh! Pot champ, you know maybe when stream is done, I'll get something to eat. Mayhaps. Also, I have decided. I think I'll end stream at 11:30. Not out of not out of my own better judgment, even though it's nice. Um. Well, it kind of. I'm gonna assume my little brother was tired after today because he woke up at like six and just came home from the park at like 10 ish. So, you know, I can assume he'd probably be tired and want to go to bed. But yeah, maybe after the stream, when I rate Penny... Or, not not Penny. Penny's not streaming. Friday isn't streaming time for Penny. That's Thursdays and Sundays. But you you should all go watch your streams on those days at Cherry Crescent. Um... No, I was gonna say, my well, Luke probably wants to sleep because he's probably tired from today. Hmm. I mean, I don't know if he is, but, you know, just in case. Ruby, it's Saturday. I know, Penny! <laughs> there is something wrong with my brain. 
I compl I got mascot's head. I got sloppy head. Woo! Anna, I believe I've up I've detected an object of interest inside this box. Huh, it's just a friend, but she's already opened it, so I guess a little bit can't hurt, right? <gasps> yeah! Yes, there's a the shape of a human head. Jesus, Scout, why did you say something before I opened it? I'm sorry, I was only 68% certain it was a head. Thank God it's not real. It looks like it's made of fiberglass or something. Anna, I think it matches the mascot body that we found earlier. Poor Maggie. Why did I forget about Casey's? Why did I forget Casey's voice? Oh, he loves poor Maggie. What did the poor man do to deserve this? Why would someone send this to Fran? Uh, hey Fran. Oh, what was what was that about downstairs? Oh, he's just my uh, alcohol supplier. Just an issue with the latest invoice. That's all. It didn't sound like that. Just leave it, please. Okay, what is up with the tits? Fran, I found this downstairs. If it's another flag, yes, you can keep it. No, it's some kind of statue, but the head's been removed. Ah! Oh, that's Maggie, your mascot. She, uh, a customer knocked her over. Smashed the head into a million pieces. Should get rid of that poor thing, really. Okay, then what do you say about this head? Fred, I found this package, and and it's got a head in it. A head that matches that mascot body you found. And you said it had been smashed to a million pieces. Oh, uh, come on, Fran. Stop trying to pretend this isn't happening. I, well, that's... Look, I need to go. I've got to. I know what's up, Fran. If you can't bring yourself to say it, I will. Anna, what's all, what's all this about? It's nothing. I... Crispin is your sugar daddy! Well... He's a financer... She hasn't been doing well with money, but she's been paying all the bills! Didn't get a loan from the bank because they've been... because they haven't been applied for... <gasps> yeah, no, I think Crispin is your sugar daddy! That's the most reasonable response I got so far! If anyone were for my sugar daddy, they would be giving me... a lot of money every day! thing is, I don't have sugar daddies, because I don't trust like that, especially the types that are online. And I don't think they're ever usually online, I think. I don't think so. I don't know, j just a little sussy. Anyways, uh, uh, Crippen is your sugar daddy. You've been desperate for money to keep this club afloat, and Crippen works in finance, correct? He's been bankrolling you. You've been giving him something else in return. Oh, that's hilarious! Listen, Honor, I'm not that desperate, alright? Despite what may be scrawled on the toilet cubicles, I mean, she's been out with some real unique guys over the years, but... <laughs> oh, I said nothing. Anna, maybe you should think everything over again. Okay, fine. Uh, Crippen has been harassing you, but I don't think he has been. And I, I don't know, hmm... I don't know about Roz either. I don't want to suggest Roz did anything. Crippen has been harassing you? Uh, how did you? Yeah. Okay, that was the answer. <laughs> but we we know you've got a loan from, from somewhere other than a bank. Also, we ever heard you win Crippen earlier? He warned you about what'll happen if you're late. That's why you found the club's mascot's head in the box, right? Isn't it? Crippen mailed it to you as a threat. I... I can't hide it anymore. You're right. I've gotten myself into a real bad situation. Oh, babe. Oh, I, oops, I missed... I skipped the dialogue. Oops. That was honest mistake. This place doesn't really make much money. And I was desperate to rejuvenate it. I really thought it'd help us pull more people in. Our fellow banks rejected me. A friend told me about Crippen, and I went... You know, alone. I thought I'd be able to pay it back easily, but things haven't been any better. Why did you come to me? I could have helped! I made it the first few payments, but I've been late on the last couple. That's when the threats started. Phone calls, turning up unannounced, and yes, sending me Maggie's head in the, in the mail. But do you think he's behind what happened today, too? Uh, yes, that must be it! He crashed the float into the club to show what happens to people who don't pay! Why did you tell us this earlier? 
because I was ashamed. I'm in such a huge mess, but it's all of my own making. And now, now someone died because of it. I'm sad you didn't tell me, but now I know. We're gonna put our heads together and work on a plan. There has to be a way out of this. Anna, Griffin was inside the club a short while ago. You should confront him before he gets away. Be careful, you two. He may look unassuming, but he's dangerous. Don't underestimate him. Crippin, we want a word with you. I only have two words for you. I'll give you a clue. The second word is off. Ah, you want to guess the first word? Jack. He meets Jack like a penis. <laughs> oh, 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 is it Jack off? You know you've been harassing Fran. We know about the loan. And then you cut off the mascot's head. Oh, I told you to keep your nose out of this, which is what will happen next. Admit it. You crashed that phone to this club. You killed Oliver Laurel. If you don't stop trying to dig up dirt on me, so help me God. I am taking you down to the station to talk to, to, to Detective Cross. No, you aren't. Oh, shit. He's locked. Anna, be careful. I'd listen to your walkman if I were you. Okay, okay. There's no need to escalate this. But there is, I'm afraid. You are treading on dangerous turf. Just put down the gun. If you're innocent, there's no need for you to be scared of I just want to know the truth. Ha! Huh, scared of you? I gave up being scared a long time ago, Miss Mizrahi. It's astonishing what money can do for one's social standing. All those people that treat me like garbage, they'll look down on me. They seem so small when they come crawling to me for money. So no, I'm not scared of you. I'm the one who does the scaring now. Just put the gun down, Crippen, and let's talk. This isn't helping you look innocent. Perhaps not. Yet I am innocent. I just can't afford to be dragged into an investigation when my work is, shall we say, somewhat unsavory. Uh, this is my final warning to you, Honor Mizrahi. I played no part in the death of Oliver Laurel. Look for your murderer elsewhere. It's taken me years to make something of myself. Won't allow you to tear it all that down. Stay away from me, understand? Whatever you say, Crippen. Well, oh, Andy, hear it. In that case, I hope to never see you again. My, for your sake, my lure is gonna destroy your reputation. That was so scary. We need to tell we need to tell Detective Cross about this. Anna, wait for me. Well, that was heavy. Um. This is the oldest one on my accounts right now, so save there. And now let's go back to the city map. LAPD Precinct 13. Thanks for finding the time to come down, Mr. Larson. Gotta admit, I'm expecting Lethus and a lawyer, not the CEO. Anything I can do to help solve the, this misunderstanding? It's very important to me that we maintain a healthy relationship with the police. Now, I don't know how you got the idea that we're involved in what happened to Frank Pritchell, but let me assure you. Detective Cross, we need, we need to talk. Oh, can't you see I'm busy? This is serious. We just spoke to... No, I'll just wait in the other room. Whenever you're ready, Detective. <sighs> just leave whatever it is here and come back in an hour or so, okay? Are you even listening to me? Crispin and Hank will just... Detective! Well, I guess we gotta handle this one on our own. Okay, Scout, head to the police computers. We need to find Crispin's address. Oh, what? I don't understand, Anna. I thought we were working with Detective Cross now. Crispin knows we're on to him. He could be trying to skip town right the second. We have to act now. Just because Cross is losing focus doesn't mean we should let a killer slip away from us. If you're sure. It appears as if they've, as if they've installed new security software on this computer. It may take me a while to solve this handshake, algo the handshake algorithm. Oh boy, oh boy, oh. No, wait, I got this. Uh,
Oh boy. Hacking complete! Those are the same emoji, but different names! Wait, what? What emojis? Komodo hype? Rule 5? I cannot tell, but okay! Searching for Crispin Hakewell. Found it! His file is big! Over 400 kilobytes! It lists several misdemeanors plus two felony charges for theft and assault. Both over 10 years ago. There have been no additional notes made in this file for almost 5 years. His record makes it sound like he's cleared up his act. But that's not what we- that's not what we saw. Oh, Komodo hype and PogChamp? Oh yeah, there's a reason. Um, I'm sure you've heard about the whole news, but the original PogChamp guy was... Uh, a little bit of a shitty guy. So, after a whole contest to find what to replace him with, they decided to replace him with Lizard Pog. But the funniest thing is that they did remove Komodo hype because apparently I guess that emote has a lot of history on here. So I guess we're just stuck in an era where PogChamp is the same thing as Komodo hype. Anyways, that's not what we saw. He said I'm the one who's who does a scaring now. I don't believe a good person would say those words. Does the file have his current address? Yes, but... Okay, let's go. Oh no, wait! Crippen is dangerous! Shouldn't we at least come up with a plan? I'll do that on the way. Come on, there's no time to waste. Aye, aye, aye. Crippen's apartment. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Well, here we go. Time, time to get injured. This must be Crispin's apartment building. It looks pretty fancy. Although I wonder what happened to that parking lot fence. Should I use the buzzer? No, I want to see if there's any evidence around here first. Can find the smoking gun. It might force him to confess. Oh, I remember! You do not literally mean a smoking gun, but a piece of irrefutable evidence. You got it! Although a literal smoking gun would help too. But nobody has been shot. I'm more confused now than ever! Okay, um, let's save here. Yes. Uh, let's do a little investigation. What can we find here? Six, seven. <gasps> Wait, we're no. I was I was gonna say we're in L.A. The, the Kings. Oh no, Markiplier. But one, this is the '90s, so he's not even born yet. And two, we're not in L.A. We're in Hollywood, Hollywood, which is close to L.A. I, I, I don't know much about California, so I'm not in, entirely sure about that either. It would be very hilarious if we were in L.A. And if there were gangs here, and if Markiplier was here, and the gangs did get to him... <laughs> God... Not even born, isn't he like in his 30s? <laughs> exactly! <laughs> That's what I said, he's not even born yet, so I can't even make that joke. This is the 90s, not the 2010s. 
Ruby, do you know how my, how years work? He'd he'd have been born. Mystery, your math. Yes, yes, I get that. My math is off. That's why I stopped with the joke. Be I knew it wouldn't work. He's not even born yet. This in the nineties. Wait, something's off here. That's five, yes. Oh, right. Alright. Alright, give me that face. Oh! Okay. Good, we're on the same page now. I was scared for a second. Because I'm a baby when it comes to games. Hey! Oh, right. I swear, if this turns out to be a pipe bomb, I'm going to explode. so funny. Oh no, it's a padlock. That's not a pipe bomb. That's a padlock. Look, Anna, there's a broken padlock here. Hmm, but it doesn't look like it's been cut. The metal is all twisted. The damage suggests it was forced open, but that would require a great deal of force. Given this, the tire marks on the ground. I think it's like your vehicle crashed through the parking lot. That would explain the broken fence. The space between the wheels wider than expected for an average car. Except that that suggests it was not a car that drove through here. So it wasn't a car. Was it something bigger? Okay, let's do one investigation before we end tonight's stream because I think we at least have enough time for one more peak cry. I think before I decide to end it. Oh, look at that! One. Wait, I forgot. That one right too. Nice. Four, five, six. All right. Now I got that right. 
Now that isn't right. Hmm. Six, seven. Oh yeah, that that's not right. That's three, that's five. Hmm. Well, it's one, so that should be right, but... Wait a minute. Something's sussy here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay, I get it. Two, three, four, five. Hmm. Okay. That's one. It's another one. Then four, five. Two. Three here, one, three, two, oh, here, yes. Right. Right, it's a sneaker. Got it. B for boob! B for booba! Uh, uh, uh. Well. Hey, that means we're close to the end of this then. Yeah, you know what? Maybe tomorrow I'll beat this case. 
but for now, let's see what what we can inquire from here. Hmm. That. Oh, hello, Mister. <laughs> Why did that? That does not sound like JFK. That does not sound like JFK. Yeah, it's a water tower. That looks like the the Warner Brothers water tower. Anyways, um, my deck is huge. Hmm, there's a sneaker hanging on top of this broken fence. That's unusual, isn't it? Yeah, maybe someone climbed in, over into the parking lot and it snagged on there. But why would they need to climb over? The fence has a hole in it. <gasps> Anna, this sneaker, it matches the, the one we found outside the club. You're right, we'll have to get forensics to verify, but these are probably a pair. Well, what's up? This means my hypothesis about the murder only having one leg is now invalid. Don't be sad about it, Scout. Proving a hypothesis wrong is another step towards the truth. You're all right, Anna. I've got a new hypothesis. The killer has small feet. That's why their shoes keep falling off. I mean, it's possible? Hmm, I wonder. Sounds like you have a new hypothesis. Um... The parade float was stolen from here. The clerk climbed into the parking lot, hot-wired the float, then crashed through the fence. But why would someone steal a giant shoe and then drive it into a bar? Just like Fran said, show her what happens if she doesn't pay her debts. But Crippen was stupid enough to steal it from right next to his own apartment. Hey, who are you calling stupid? Crippen? Look, up there! I told you to stay out of this! Put the gun down, Crippen. We can still work this out. I know ye all about you. I've read on up on what you did at your studio and at the Starshine Awards. There's nothing more dangerous than someone with something to prove, but I won't let you drag me down. I'm just trying to find out who killed Oliver. If you're innocent, you've got nothing to worry about. Huh, you can't be trusted. You've got a nasty habit of entangling the wrong people. I've got two strikes already. One more and I'm a lifer. I'm not going back to jail. You can't send me back. Oh my god! This guy looks sick. He's horrible. Quick, get behind my car. <gasps> no! Tom! Scout, what are you doing? Hi. Oh no, this robot has problems and issues for sure. Tom! Wait, where have I heard that name before? Visual processing unit malfunctioning. Contact engineer. My god, Tom! Tom! Internal emergency test lab C. Requesting immediate assistance. What the hell happened? You. You turned Scout into a weapon! You knew this might happen! You heart this pit! Shut up! I need to work! Some kind of error in the assault mode routine. Cancel further testing until we've isolated the problem. An error? An error? Tom's dead! Dead! Daryl! 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 Do not injure a human being or through an action allow a human being to come to harm. Critical stop, unable to resolve. No, no, I can't understand. I I killed someone? I have to I I can't. Run delete. Me whenever I make a single mistake. What the hell is it doing now? It must be the ethical routines. He's he's trying to erase everything! Someone trying down quick! Before we lose everything! That's why he has the problems and issues. That makes sense. Yep, that makes sense. He runs entirely on Picross. But damn it, we're too late. He crept in almost all his internal memory. I don't know if we can. Forget it. This project is over. You're done. Me? It was your modification that someone get her out of here. You can't do this. You can't. No, I... Scout, what are you doing? I... I remembered something. Now's not the time! Scout! I've been... I've been hurt! What the hell is going on? It's Crispin. He, he stole a parade float. He killed Oliver. 
Jesus! I'll call for a backup. Damn it! One of those shots must have hit the radio! It's not working! Well, listen, I'm gonna create a diversion. Get to the station and get help, okay? But, Detective Cross, for once in your goddamn life, will you just listen to me? Okay, Scout, with me. Okay! Oh no, this is gonna be the part of the game where I can't rely on- where I can't rely on Scout for help. Oh, that'll be fun. As more shots rang out, I'm not ashamed to admit I did what I was told. I ran. I barely had time to process what was happening. Looking back, I don't know how I did it. I should have been scared. Hell, most people would have been in a blind panic. As I rode the wave adrenaline across the city, there was only one thought running through my head. I can do this. Where is everybody? Hey, anyone here? We need help! One time we want people here and this damn place is empty. We'll just have to find the radio ourselves. Scout? Oh, oh sorry. I'll scan for the radio. Scout, are you okay? Maybe that bullet did more damage than I thought. I, uh, I'm fine. Commence and scan. Oh yeah, this is going to be the one where he's fucked up and now I'll have to rely entirely on getting it or trying to get it right. Yeah, he's not responding! Oh no, this is horrible! Oh no, I can't do this anymore! <laughs> no! Fuck! Um. <gasps> Please work! Please work! Oh god, the robot killed a man. He unfortunately killed a man. Well, no, maybe maybe I did just get it wrong. Hey, maybe he didn't lose his pit cross stuff, right? I mean, he can't. How else am I supposed to solve this game? <gasps> no, okay, that still works, thank god. God, imagine if I had to do this all on my own, without Scout's help. You just gotta do it, Ruby. I did do it. He's not... He, they're not too severely damaged, which is good. I think an interesting plot development would be if, like, yes, he can still react, like, he can still give the smiles whenever you got a row right, but whenever the answer comes out, it, it's just fucked up and is like, Ah, I found it! It's a- Oh no, that's not what that is. That'd be really neat, I think. Like, a, a, sub, a subversion of expectations, if you will. Four, five, six... Three, two, three, five, one, one. Fucked up robot time, baby. This robot has problems and issues. <laughs> Diverse demon. This robot straight up killed someone. Dead. Goodbye! Three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six. I will say, I do like the art, though, in that section. That was some good art. Shout out to the artists. They're really good. They did a good job on this game.
And hey, we actually did get something. Police radio. Yay! Yay! His pit cross skills are not fucked up. Hopefully there will be a time where he can breathe and save. Here on a... Calling, uh, all units? There's a... Well, I don't know the code, but there's an officer under fire at 1240 Feridian Drive. He needs backup now! Who, who is this? I'm, uh, just... Ma'am, these frequencies are not for civilian use. How did you... I don't care! You have to help them! Officers on the way, man. They'll be there in two minutes. <sighs> Thank God for that. Oh, come on, Scout. We need to get back to Crippen's place. Anna, we should at least wait until the op police clear the scene. Oh, why? What an interesting robot friend you've got there. Oh, I am Scout! Hmm, he doesn't seem to be working quite right. Let me take a look. Turn around for a second. But oh, wait, what are you doing? How's that? Much better! Good. It's only temporary, though. You'll need to get patched up properly. Thank you, Mr. Call me Jack. I have a lot of questions. Uh, yeah, you know what? Actually, let's ask him questions before. Well, now nah, I got a feeling if we initiate that, it'll go into a much longer sequence. Um, although I am deeply interested, you know what? Let you know what? Let's extend it to midnight. That's when I'll end stream if I can save the next time around midnight. My apologies. I should have introduced myself. So, who are you? My name is Jack Lars. I'm the CEO of, of Lith Security. Lith. Wait, I've heard that name before. Lith Security has caught me that Frank Pritchard totally worked for. Uh, it's regrettable that Lith is associated with such a nasty business, but I'm hoping to straighten things out. What are you doing here at the station? I'm afraid I can't disclose that to un involved third parties. I hope you understand. It's because Ryan says he hired Lith to intimidate Blake Patterson. I guess you're not quite as un uninvolved as I thought. Yes, I'm challenging Mr. Blackstone's false allegations. I see you're familiar with my wayward ex-husband. Your ex-husband? How interesting. I had no idea. So what's your defense? Is Ryan lying about hiring Frank through Lith? Yes and no. We did hire one of our operatives to survey Mr. Patterson, but that's where our involvement ends. The intimidation and the unfortunate death of Mr. Patterson has nothing to do with us. We never agree to such a request. I see. That's very convenient. The truth sometimes is. I don't know so much about Scout. I don't. Not specifically, at least. I used to work at the at a company that was involved with robotics. It's lucky you were here, I guess, but what did you mean about the repairing being temporary? I don't have any tools here, so it was just a quick fix. If you'd let me take Scout back to my office, I could. Now's not a good time, and I don't know if I can trust you. I need to go. I'm running late for a meeting. But the offer stands. If you change your mind, here, take this. Puzzle for a card! <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. What are we all talking about, gay? Did I say something? <laughs> I'm sure I said something gay. Oh, this is also good. Don't, do not let Scott leave your eyes. Don't worry, I won't. He's he's in my vision right now as I'm doing this pick cross. I. It is okay. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> he's 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 right. <laughs> I say gay things often. I do too. Hmm, I wonder if that means anything. That guy was gay. Oh, he's gay. Did he talk about so about sloppy? <laughs> oh, he had ex-husband though. Oh! Oh! Diversity win. The CEO has it is gay. <laughs> the CEO of a company that potentially killed um your showrunner is also gay. <laughs> No, your character had an ex-husband. <laughs> oh! Diversity win! Um, your shitty fucking abusive ex is bisexual! <laughs> God 
today's the day that keeps giving, huh? So many di so many wins for the LGBT community. <laughs> God. Where can I even start? I mean, I, I, this is already a good start, but what now? Right? No. Hmm. Where are y'all getting this? The security dude didn't say anything. <gasps> I'm dumb! <laughs> I'm dumb and I have a fat ass, okay? <laughs> uh, you think I know things? Also, what the heck? What the H? Wait, is this right? Oh, that that ain't right. Now that's right. I'm dummy. Me too. No, here's the thing. I'm the- oops. I'm the- I'm the biggest dummy out of all the dummies because I never think. If you think I think, I'm sorry, but you come to the wrong streamer because the streamer does not think. This really do be a Saturday for me though. Wait a minute. No thought head empty. No thought. All I can think about is slimes. Wait, is that right? That is right. Okay. That's good. Three. Internally, I am dancing right now. Hype music for what's what essentially happened in the scene where he's like, Here, have my card, go puzzle, go. <laughs> it's like, uh, uh, what? Okay, I'll figure this out, sure. This game is great in that regard that Pit Cross happens out of anything that could be turned into a puzzle.
Hey, you, you gotta know the exact texture and everything about it. Why not? You're right, reading is just very hard, so... Instead, you do a Picross puzzle about it. Whoops. Maps, I am just tired. That's probably it. Oh, you be thinking about dumb AU? Oh, hey! Ah, I was right, it was a business. A, a business card. 250? 500? Wow, that's a fancy business card. If Scouts exhibits any more strange behavior, give me a call. What, day or night? I'll get him fixed up. Oh, excuse me, I'm gonna drink some more water that hopefully melted. Oh, that's better. Anna, I am unsure what to make of him. Me too, Scout. Me too. Oh, I completely forgot! You said you remembered something new! Did you want to tell me about it? It can wait. Really? Okay, for sure. We should get we should go back to Detective Cross. The situation's at the situation at Crippen's apartment is most likely under control by now. Jack's design is boring, boring man. Somehow important, but incredibly boring. <laughs> You're right. We can talk about your, your new memories later. Let's go! How oh, can I tell her that I... I... Ooh... Uh, that'll be for next... For, well, not next week. That'll be for tomorrow's Picross stream. What was the oldest? This the oldest. Yes. Save complete. Um. Wow, that was a lot. Mmm. Stretching. <sighs> okay, just did a nice stretch. But wow. That was a lot that happened. There was a lot of gay people. The streamer is dumb and can't read. <laughs> and doesn't know how to do math. And hey, people are already leaving. PogChamp. Okay, so the current schedule. Um, and tomorrow will be more Picross, where hopefully we'll... Or no, not Picross. Tomorrow, tomorrow will be more Murder My Numbers, where hopefully I'll be able to finish Case 3. Streamer end time? Ah! I'd say it's about so. Like I said, I would end around midnight, and it is close to midnight, so... Yeah, why not? Um, but yes, I think that would be a good place to call it. Oh, uh, cliffhanger! Woo! You've all been left off at a cliffhanger because tomorrow will be more murder by numbers. I don't know if Luke's gonna be streaming tomorrow, but I'll be streaming tomorrow. I'll be streaming more murder by numbers for sure. And then, um, let me also think. I gotta think, 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 think. The the schedule for next week, uh, the same as usual. <gasps> good good knife, Ruby. Love you. Oh, thank you, Quinn. I love you too. Mwah! Oh, a kiss from you. Um, but yes, tomorrow will be more murder by numbers. Monday will be more um. Metroid Monday with Penny with another Metroid Two remake. Tuesday will be more Pokemon White. Wednesday. Oh, um, my voice is going to give out. I should end this soon. Wednesday will be more Sonic Rush and the return of Sonic Heroes, which is very Pog Champ. Can't wait, can't wait for that. Blows your kiss. Thank you so much, Penny. Wait, the stream's not over yet. We're, we're still going to raid Fiona. Oh no, everyone's leaving. I mean, it makes sense if you all want to go to bed now, but I still want to raid. Um... Thursday, more Amori. We'll earn the end game of Amori, so Amori will be done soon. And this Friday will be more murder by numbers. Woo! Two murder by numbers in a week. Hopefully, if I'll be able to do it by then. But for now, um, 
Yeah, that's it. Good night, everyone. I hope y'all have a good evening, and stay tuned to be part of a raid for Fiona, because they're a very pug champ streamer. Oh, wahoo! Goob night! Goob night YouTube, and goob night Twitch.